So this is my Ford Fusion 57 plate um, changing the heater blower resistor because the fans have stopped working, numbers one, two and three have stopped working, number four works. So this is the part that we've bought as a replacement. It was under a tenner from a local car parts supplier. And the trick is trying to find where where it is. Not much on the internet. So I thought I'd do a quick video. Excuse the mess in the car, and these are clean. So the location of this part is pretty hard to get to. If you aim for the clutch pedal. I'll do my best to give you some light and help locate this now. Right, so where that little white unit is with that cabling running into, that's the part we need to get out. So there's two torque screws either side of that white housing. Um, and I'm currently lying on my back underneath the steering wheel. My chest is level with um, the underside of the steering wheel, so it's quite awkward to get to. But basically, there's a torque screw either side of this white housing so i'm just going to get a little ratchet and undo that and see how we go give yourself a bit more room it's probably best to take this panel off the driver's side foot well so there's a clip here and down there which goes into the housing there and there and the, there's a clip here as well so give that a good pull and get it off give yourself some more room Right, screws it out. Oh, crikey. So here it is. That's the old part. So I need to unclip it from the housing and plug the new one back on. Really awkward to do. So there's the old part out. And the new part ready to go in. And these little buggers have come to say hello. Get off the grass. That's the new part in. It can only go in one way with the little grey clip there. So that's a pretty easy one. I have to put it back up in the housing now and put the two screws on and give it a test, see if it works. Right, that's back in and screwed on. So let's give it a test and fingers crossed. These guys have come to help out. So now she's got four children. She should only have two. Right, so the problem I was having before was nothing when you turned the fan from naught to one, two or three. There was just no fan whatsoever. There was a fan on four, um, but there was no fan on the other settings. So let's turn the car on and cross our fingers and give it some power. Fingers crossed. Brilliant. So you can hear that straight away. And again. Brilliant. So if your heater stops working, you should be getting a sound on one, two, three, and four. Obviously, we were getting nothing on one, two, and three. So it's the heater blower. Oh, heater motor resistor. There you go, I'll post a link to where we got that from. Jobs are good in. Happy days.